You interact with artificial intelligence every day, and it's big business. Take, for example, Google Ads. It matches search words to advertisements, and last we checked, it made Google more than $100 million a day. If you made Google $100 million a day, you'd be employee of the month every month. But you don't. That's because you're a human, and unlike AI, you cost your company money. It has to pay you wages, give you sick leave, and even pay to provide on-the-job training. This point may be obvious, but it's also a very obvious weakness when it comes to our efficiency as workers. Of course, it takes a lot of money to develop tools like the ones powering Google AdWords, but once created, its skill is unmatched, and it vastly improves over time. So basically, while you get older and less able to adapt to new technology, it gets smarter and faster and generates even more profit. If you were a multi-billion dollar company, who would you invest in? Of all the people currently on planet Earth, 75% are considered working age population, but only 58% of these people are actually employed, with just a small percentage unemployed. With less than half the population employed, there are a lot of people depending on those with jobs to provide an income to live. Over the next decade, unemployment is expected to rise dramatically, largely due to AI and the automation of our jobs. By 2025, more than half of the world's current work tasks will be automated and performed by AI. Mass unemployment could create public panic as people turn to the government for help. And while it's predicted that advances in AI will also create many new jobs, that won't solve the problem. Here's why. When low-skilled laborers are replaced by AI, they cannot move easily into the new high-skilled jobs without years of education and training. Top researchers predict that by 2022, one in five workers will have AI as a co-worker. And with AI capable of doing more jobs, it might become harder for us to predict viable careers in the future. What we consider irreplaceable jobs today could become redundant in the not-too-distant future. And AI has already started to teach schoolchildren so we should begin to prepare for the coming changes. In 1976, computer scientist Joseph Weizenbaum warned that AI should never be used for jobs that require compassion and empathy. But even though AI has not yet developed emotional intelligence, humans have already started handing these tasks over without full consideration of the consequences. AI is being built on data that is as flawed and biased as the humans who collect it and program the AI and our data is controlled by a handful of very powerful companies and government agencies. To put this in context, if AI uses flawed data, the calculated decisions it makes will be equally biased. For example, predictive policing software in the UK showed bias towards certain postcodes targeting poor people as potential criminals. Unlike mechanical development, which has historically improved steadily and linearly, AI is growing at an exponential rate. And with exponential learning, AI is useful to both human and robot workers. In fact, one AI system could manage an entire organization. Some of the richest nations in the world are betting big on robots and AI research. And if the rest of the world doesn't keep up, other countries will fall behind. But this is not the first time we've had to grapple with our jobs being automated. Generation after generation, humans grow, evolve, and invent. We dare to take massive strides into what we hope is a brighter future. But what if we've written or coded ourselves out of our own story? In the near future, an estimated 800 million jobs could be lost to AI. That means over one quarter of the entire global working class will lose jobs and will need new ways to live and earn money. This might require education and retraining, or an unconditional payout in the form of universal basic income. The truth is, AI isn't just the future of work, it's the future of business, big business. AI can do the work of millions of humans from anywhere in the world, at any time, day or night, and it doesn't need sick days. How can we possibly compete?